Hey, everybody. Good morning. It is Friday, April the 26th. It's time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Strap up. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Well, hello, good morning. Happy Friday, everyone. It is 7 o'clock in the morning here, Central Time. It's a Friday. That means, you know what that means? Anyone? That's right. Free Coaching Friday. Before we get to that, so... What that means, if you have questions or comments or conundrums or anything of the the sort that you would like for me to uh, take a stab at addressing, leave those in the comments, and we'll do our best to get to them. Also in the comments, when you get here, leave a message, say hi, how you doing, good morning, whatever strikes your fancy, just to let me know that you're here. And as we're waiting for folks to get on and those questions to become, to start rolling in. Now, see, I can see that you're watching and you hadn't said hi yet. So, hey, Keith, good morning to you. Oh, man. Actually, I just had a great one. I'm going to look that one up because that's a good one. Um, while we're doing that, I want to talk to you about kind of what we've been talking about this week. Um, which is being intentional about pursuing your outcomes. I mean, we've talked about it in a lot of different contexts, but the the reality is that is really what the uh, kind of underlying, there it is, what the underlying theme has been. Be intentional about um, identifying, claiming your outcomes, and then pursuing those putting a plan in place, executing that plan in order to achieve those. Good morning, Abby. Glad you're here this morning as well. All right, so Keith, Keith's question for me this morning, what life or business advice would you give the 18-year-old you? Yesterday on uh, Instagram, there was a post that came up, um, and and the post was a quote, and it said uh, that I have a, I have a single definition of success. You look in the mirror every morning and wonder if you disappoint the person you were at 18, right before the age when people start getting corrupted by life. Let him or her be the one to judge, not your reputation. And so my response to that was, um, and then the person who posted said, do you agree or disagree? I said, no, I don't agree. And here's why I say no, because the person I was at 18 was not aiming high enough, didn't know enough, and wasn't tough enough to expect what I've accomplished so far, including the failures, let alone what I still have to achieve. So in terms of your question, what advice would I give the 18-year-old version of me? Um, keep learning. And, and everything that happens is a learning opportunity. That, that's probably the simplest version of the advice. Keep learning and consider everything a learning opportunity. Right? I mean, it's kind of kitschy, but FAIL is a, an acronym for first attempt in learning. Right? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. All those things. And, and, and here's the thing, right? All of those axioms are rooted in someone's experience. And the way they condensed their experience into a sentence was to say, everything you experience in life is a learning opportunity. And I say learning opportunity. It's not a learning guarantee. It's not a lesson. It is a learning opportunity because we have to choose. It sets the circumstances for us, and then we have to choose to learn from it. What far too many people do today is use it as a lever to blame someone, right? Well, they laid me off. Okay, did they lay you off or did your work ethic get you laid off? 
Or maybe they did choose to lay you off instead of whining about it, say, yay, I have an opportunity to start something on my own. I have an opportunity to experience something new. I have an opportunity dot, 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 right? We take every experience, I'll say it that generally, but many people take every experience and find the worst possible interpretation of it. You, on the other hand, because you are here, know that you should choose choose to find the greatest interpretation of it, the mo- the one that is most beneficial to yourself. Then set your mindset and set your intention with that positive outcome, and then go pursue it. I can't. I just don't. I, I mean, it's not the way my mind works, right? So I just have a really tough time getting my head wrapped around these people who always want to be negative. Just don't get it. School and learning. No, Keith, you know this. I know you're just egging me on this morning. Um, School and learning does not end at 18. As I have said many times, one of the most discouraging statistics I've ever read is that uh, 30% of high school graduates will never pick up another book again. That's the second most discouraging. The most discouraging is, I think it's 61 or 62% of college graduates will never pick up another book again. We, we think this is, uh, there was a, a, a portion of a book. What was the book? Something like nine things that rich people do differently than poor people. One of them was, uh, they're lifelong learners, right? Rich people continue to learn throughout their lifetime. Poor people think learning ends at at the end of school. That's just when it begins. School is just setting you up to know how to learn for the rest of your life. All right, so there. That's my advice for the 18-year-old version of me. Never stop learning and use everything as an opportunity to learn more. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you for being with me all week. We'll be back again Monday with a brand new theme, a brand new topic, and a brand new show. Until then, you guys have a great weekend. I'll talk to you then.